<laughs> Set it back good, huh? When she goes? Yeah. 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 See that? Whoa, there's smoke. Whoa, I just saw that too. I don't know where that came from. You know what that really sounded like to me? It sounded like a shorted output transformer. It's probably... Oh, smelled it too. Oh yeah. How long did you have it on? <sighs> just a, just like that. Just a <laughs> second and then turned it right off. Yeah, I do. Um, so what we've agreed on as he realizes that this circuit board and this technology is unreliable and even if I fixed it, he'd probably be back getting it fixed again, okay? So what we're, we've ended up doing is we're going to remove the circus boards, okay? And to give you guys a visual, we are going to drop in a Princeton AA1164 circuit. So he actually is going to get my last Classic tone power transformer, made in Chicago, just like you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, you... welcome to D-Lab, everybody. The amp behind me is a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Came to the shop about a month ago with a defective output transformer. So rather than repair the amp and have it come back, as all these circuit board-based amps do, the owner and I decided that we're going to go ahead and gut it out put in an eyelet board, and hand wire this as a Fender Princeton Reverb, the model AA1164. The cabinet, chassis, speaker, and knobs will be reused for this build. I have all the new components ready for the Princeton retrofit. We have a classic tone power transformer, Hammond output transformer, Fender Reverb transformer, eyelet board, and new vintage stock tube sockets. So my next task is to gut all this out. We need to add one hole for the rectifier tube. And then we'll place the board in, wire it up, and we'll have us a Princeton. All right, so I'm gonna get this thing gutted out, and then I'll cut back after I have the major components installed. All right, I got the circus board ready to remove from the amp, but I needed to point out something real quick before I do that. The AA1164 has four 12AX7 tubes. This guy only had three okay so I'm gonna have to add a hole here also it has a rectifier tube so we're gonna remove the speaker jacks and the rectifier tube will sit over here these will be our two output tubes but if you take a look at these holes you can see that a 12x7 socket probably won't mount on there too easily so what I'm gonna do is use this standoff method and I'm gonna build an aluminum back plate just for the 12AX7s. Alright, here's a mechanical update on the AA1164 build. I have the eyelet board in place, bias board. I installed that platform I was talking about for the 12AX7s. So now the 12AX7s will simply go through the old original hole in the chassis and plug in to the sub panel. Top side I have the new transformer mounted. This is our new power transformer for the Princeton filter cap, output transformer, and we have our reverb driver. Well that wraps up the mechanical changeover of a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe to a Princeton Reverb Model AA1164. You can see the layout's really nice, plenty of room to work with. So in the next video We'll cover wiring of our new Princeton AA1164 circuit and perform an initial test. We'll see you in part two.